Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. And this is Wednesday, so it must be the Tag Week Day. Now, um, this is week five, and the prompt is spring. Now, for the longest time, I had absolutely no idea what I was going to do for spring. I mean, sure, there's flowers, but what do you do with that? You just make a tag with flowers on it? You just decoupage flowers onto a tag? No, no, no. Not going to do it. Everybody else is going to do that. I am not going to do that. I'm not going to glue any dried flowers <laughs> to a tag. So my brain is going and going. I could not figure out what to do. So first, um, let's take a little gander through here. Here's week one. Week two, that was a whole lot of work and a whole lot of tags. Week three. What happened to week four? Are we on week four? What happened to week four? Let me take a look here. Week one. Week two. Oh, skipped a page. Don't know why. Week three was blue. Week four is romance. You know what? I forgot to do blue. So week three is blue. We're going to do week four. I swear I did it. Oh, it's back here. Remember we um, had to open it up and add more pages in between because I did it wrong. I knew I did it. So this is going to be four. I was like, I know that I did blue. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind. Okay, so week four was romance. See, I'm still doing it wrong. This is week five. This will be week six. Okay. Week four is romance. So we got week one, week two, week three, week four. Now we're on week five, which is spring. Finally. I was just so excited that what I did ended up working out. Um that I almost forgot to get everything together for the video too. So um, what we're going to do this time is either easy or hard. It just depends on how good you are with certain things. Now I found, let me, got to hide it for a little bit longer. I found um, these two images of wood, wood, I don't know, it's hard to tell that that's wood. That's the whole problem um, on the internet. And um, I can't use this one because it's so light that you can't really see the wood grain. I mean, I can see it looking at it, but you can't see it on camera. And I doubt you would be able to see it in a photograph. So, boom, this one's gone. Um, let me tell you, first of all, some of the things, uh, yeah, the wood we got from the internet the flower picture that we're going to use I got is from the kit called Spring Burst by the Journal Boat. And then we're going to have a door. And the door is from a kit called Salvaged Doors by Collage Type. All right, the links will all be uh, below the video. So here's my piece of wood from the internet. Here's our book. This is the door from Salvaged Doors. Now, this is our backing paper. This is our flower picture. Okay? Or our picture of spring. We got a butterfly. We got a beehive thingy going on. And uh, we got flowers. Spring. Okay. So, part of this I had to do off camera, like I said. I This was actually a tag. You know what I mean? Like it had a thing on top. And I opened it in Publisher. And I made it a rectangle and then I uh, you know it was only a tag and then I resized it and the, the reason I resized it was so da, 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 when I opened the doors the door there is spring okay you got it you got the concept here okay so first thing we're gonna do oh and the reason I did this off camera is because it involved 
a sharp, which is a straight edge, which I've never got to work before. And I cut this out on the very first try. And then you may need a metal ruler to do down the middle and across the bottom. I had to do the rounded part freehand. It was scary. I was scared. Sharps, metal rulers, curves, everything just was, everything screamed, you're going to cut yourself. <laughs> so we got our backing paper and we don't need that right now. And just so you know, I don't have any of this written down. I don't know what I'm going to write down for you guys as PDF this week. Um, so we've got the wall, right? We've got the door. We've got the view through the door. So we're going to cut the, the wall into the tag shape. First, though, we're going to put the picture and the door on. Now, I don't know how, how I got this lucky, but... I actually made this the exact width of our door on the computer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the door frame and we're going to glue it to this picture. Then we're just going to cut the picture out around the door frame. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut... Let's see. Do I want to glue it on there while it's still on here. I think maybe I do. And then I'll just cut the whole thing out. Because if it's small and I try to glue this little skinny edge to the small, I just wonder how hard that would be. I think it would be near impossible. Okay, so let's glue it on while it's on there. I forgot to double side print it so I had to just ink it like it was wood on the inside isn't perfect, but uh, I was not about to try to cut that out again. I don't know if I've seen you guys since or uh, since last week. Um, this was on here, but this is my new happy glue bottle because my friend Cassie sent me this awesome uh, pin with the dangle on it for my glue. Okay, so let's carefully glue around the edge. We don't want to glue our door shut. I'm all excited too because my son's visiting from out of town. Believe it or not, I haven't seen him in 23 years in person. We live across the country from each other. Okay. So let's get that on there. We'll get that on there. The door's open. There's spring. Can you tell how short the video's going to be this week? <laughs> get everything glued down. This isn't perfect. This door is by no means perfect. But I'll tell you what. For the very first try of cutting it free, freehand, um, I did use the ruler for the straight edges, but for my first try of cutting a curve, my friend Elizabeth Riggle, who does um, Technique Tuesday nights on um, over at uh, uh, oh, what is it? <laughs> Journal with Joy. Oh, anyway, Facebook group. I'll put a link to the Facebook group down there so you can go catch her on Tuesday nights live if you want to. Elizabeth and it's called Technique Tuesday. Anyway, she showed me how to hold the straight edge um, uh, The blade the pen whatever you want to call it um, to uh, Make a cut. She told me to put my index finger on guide it with my index finger and that worked Well, it worked as well as it was going to work with me who has no experience with doing it Okay, let's get our scissors out and try not to ruin everything I know I'm cutting as slow as a snail. I probably should just cut it right across. 
you know, I could have used my paper trimmer and just cut the square part out. Then I wouldn't have to cut up all this way. And try to cut in a straight line. Let's try it. Worst thing that could happen is I murder it. But anyway, the manipulation on the computer and stuff, I didn't know if it was going to work and there was no real way to show you what I was doing. Um, one of my hairs, one of the dog's hairs, I don't know. Wonder if Oz has been up on the table. <laughs> hey, never put it past him. Oz is very, very, very smart dog. He was. I'm sitting in here freezing. I couldn't figure out why it was so cold. The heater was going and going, and I'm freezing, and it's getting colder and colder in here, and I could not figure it out. And I had to go get some more pop, and I went through the living room and come to find out I had left the sliding glass door wide open when I brought him in earlier, and he wasn't even tied up or anything and he didn't even go out the door I don't know if he realized because the curtain was closed that the door was open or just that it was cold because he was in here sitting in front of the heater but um yeah okay we're looking good so far now I'm going to cut it out around the top that saved me a lot of time I'm not very good at cutting large curves. Now I can fussy cut with these big scissors like nobody's business. Shoot. You'll notice I have the blade tipped away from me. It has to do with my vision. I have to see the edge of the blade. I can't just see the top of the scissors. <gasps> okay, now I'm going to take gathered twigs and go around the edge. So it isn't white. We're not really inking it. We're just making it not white along the edges. Well, I mean, we are inking it. It's not like it's your imagination or anything, but. I just wanted to make sure I didn't cut somewhere that made it unglued. I'm coming unglued. Okay. Now, I think. Miss Paintalot's tags are four and a quarter by eight. So let's see. I'm going to glue this to the bottom. Then uh, we're going to make a tag. And then, um, oh, wait, you know what? I need to print on the back of this, don't I? I need to print something on the back of this because otherwise when I cut it out in a tag shape then there's not going to be anything on the back for when we take it off the uh, backing paper. Um, Alright, I'm going to have to put you on hold and then go print something on the back of this paper. Okay kids, this is working out too well. That's all I have to say. All right, so this is what I did on the, um, oh, it is working out too well. I don't care. I don't care. The wood can go this way. Don't care. On the back, I printed out another picture from the Spring Burst um, kit from the journal book. Ta-da, look how pretty that is. And, and the tag will be the height of the paper. I'll just trim two little corners and um, 
then we will make it the width of the birds or the width of the door. I mean, we can even we can even move the door over. We're going to put it on the on the other side, obviously. But um yeah, if we move it over by like an eighth and then um make this about an eighth wider and then just cut it all the way to the top, we should be good. Okay. So we want to glue it on this side. You guys. Spring is just outside your door. line this up with the bottom and we were going to put it about an eighth over we're going to glue it down wow that's a lot of glue bottom so very very nice wow lots of glue coming out everywhere And I know you guys are eating. I just want to let you know. I know you are. And I'm not going to say this again. I've already warned you guys. And I'm not messing around this time. Okay. So now we're going to... This about an eighth of an inch over. That's our tag. Better ink the edges knock the um, the white off oh we got to cut the corners no cutting corners All right, let's cut the corners before we do anything else why does the tag have to be pointed at the top? It doesn't really, does it? I'm going to make it the very smallest little corner possible. Which makes it nearly impossible <laughs> to flip it over and then cut it the same. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the piece that I cut off, I'm flipping it over, laying it over here, and then I'll have the exact same corner on this side. If I can hold it and cut it. There we go. Da-da-da-da! Tag shaped. 
I call you, I dub thee tag. Oh, look at that. Look how that worked out. I'm so excited about this one. I do not um, know how we're going to put it in the book. I'm thinking I don't want to use a pocket. I don't want to use a belly band. What am I going to do? I got some new repositionable tape. Repositional, repositionable tape. We could try that. That way we could take it off the backing paper. Admire its beautifulness. I made that word up. And then just put it back on. Now, I'm always ruining these. First of all, I can't even get the end off. There we go. Dots on this side. All right. See, I wrote T for top. It's scary, I know. All right, so let's just put some right across the top here. We'll put some right across the bottom. What these are is they're little dots, just like your permanent um, uh, crafting tape, only they allow you to take whatever it is off, put it back, off, put it back, off, put it back. Okay? So I'm wondering, I think maybe we should glue this into the book first. Yeah, I think that goes good with that. Could have been a little bit better color, but I, I definitely know that cream or whatever was just not going to cut it. So let's glue this in the book. Is this 52? That doesn't seem like 52. These are going to be all out of order. I'm going to have to add some more into the middle, so what I'm going to have to do count how many I have and add some in the middle before we get in more trouble right here in River City <laughs> starts with T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool alright anybody not old enough to know the music man musical just step out of the room and cover your ears <laughs> I don't want to scare you with old musical references. And I mean really old. I don't remember when that movie was made. I know it was in color. I think. So there, I got a movie reference and a song reference in. All in one little tirade. But this glue is really coming out. I filled it. Now I'm squishing it like crazy. Maybe not the wisest idea. Okay, so we're going to position this on here. And we don't ink the backing paper. I just want to make it even. Slide it around until it's even. Yeah, we're going to have trouble with the flatness of it already. I was like, I know I did blue. <laughs> I'm so crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to take our little sticky dots. We're going to put our tag down on here. And that will stick it on there. And then when we want to take it off, we just take it off. Like so. We want to put it back, we just put it back like so. How do you like that? 
Okay. Nice and quick. Nice and quick. Now, I'm not going to have a video tutorial on how I did this at the end of this video like I did some of the others. Um, it's It was a little bit more involved, and um, you guys don't watch these to learn the computer. Um, I wonder if I should use... And how would you grab it to get it open? I really don't like the way that looks. Do you know what I mean? I'm just trying to figure out how you would grab it to open it if I used the sticky tape on it. What if I used just the sticky tape at the very top? See, that's the part that's sticking out funny. Let's see. Oh, I don't even want to put this lid back on. I know there's a trick. There is. I know the trick now. Okay, so let's just put it across here. So we can stick that part down. What happened? We had a little bit of glue seepage there. I didn't even check. And we'll put a little bit of dots here. That'll hold that down. There we go. And then we can always just uh, pull it open by the bottom. The trick to this is to tip it. Okay. That's our tag. That's our page. That means that's our video. So I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay. Bye-bye.